You're listening to the Intuitive Souls Podcast. I am your host, Tara Caruso, and this podcast is designed to educate, inspire, and enlighten. Let's wake up together. guys and welcome to the Intuitive Souls podcast. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Super excited that the universe led you here. If you are an OG and you keep on coming back and you keep learning and growing and expanding, I love you. You know that I say this every episode, but it's true. I fucking love each and every one of you. You guys make this so easy for me and so enjoyable And I am so honored to be able to connect with my guests and learn and grow and just, you know, just do this. This is like, oh, it's like so fucking amazing. So thank you for your support. If this podcast is helping you, if it's giving you the tools and the conversations and the little pieces of wisdom that might help you along your journey, I would so appreciate it if you can head on over to iTunes and write a review. Those reviews allow me to get this show to the ears that need to hear it. But before you go ahead and click submit, make sure you take a picture or a screenshot and send it to me at hello at ericarusso.co. No M, it was taken, unfortunately. And I'm going to send you my soul alignment activation for free, just as a thank you, because I know that life gets crazy and, you know, we're muggles and all of that stuff. And I know that time is definitely, definitely a hot commodity now. So, you know, taking the time to do that for me, I really appreciate it. I love you guys. So, a couple of things happening behind the scenes I'm really excited to share. Um, if you haven't already, uh, no, excuse me, I'm all tongue-tied, guys. Sorry about that. I should have let my throat chakra candle before pressing record. But um, if you guys haven't heard, I am so honored to be a part of the platform GetVocal.com. It is essentially basically an interactive podcasting platform where I am a featured creator for their Soul Sunday series. I go live every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time, and I and I just connect with you guys. You guys can come and hang out, ask your questions. You can hop on video if you want and just like kind of come hang out, chill with me. I've, you know, I've always wanted to like get to know you guys. Like I see, I see you guys and, and the downloads and stuff, but I'm, you know, sometimes it's just like, can, can I talk to you guys? Can I say like, what's up? Can I like see a face to the name? Like, so if you guys are not doing anything on Sundays, come hang out with me. The link is in my Instagram bio. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, last time one of my amazing clients popped on with me and we just had such a great conversation about meditation and just her journey. It's just a great time. So be sure to come hang out with me again. That is every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. And I just go online for like, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, 50 minutes. And I just, I don't know how I'm going to structure this, honestly, to be completely honest, but I feel like I'm just going to use that time and that space to just talk about whatever the fuck is on my mind <laughs> and whatever I want to do. So it's, it's going to be a blast and a glass. So come on by. Um, Another thing, guys, the Modern Mystic Society doors are open. I am so excited. We have just gotten a bunch of amazing, new, brilliant, beautiful souls who joined. And this is my monthly membership where you get really just a big open door into spiritual development. So in this Modern Mystic Society, what you get is access to over $1,500 worth of trainings, meditations, workbooks, whatever the case may be that, you know, provide you with personal and spiritual growth and, and all that great stuff. It's, it's amazing. Like some of the exercises are really like really great. Like I enjoyed making them. I enjoyed channeling them. It was just, I love everything about this membership. So you get that, you get access to all of that. And then you also get access to starting 
August. Okay, so this month we did three circles. So basically what a circle is, it's a one hour session via Zoom where we work on our psychic and mediumship skills. We do practice exercises. We play around, we have fun with it, we learn. And it's so amazing to be a part of it because I watch so many people shock themselves. But starting in August, we are going to be having four circles available with this monthly membership. So I'm trying to scatter them around so it works for everybody because I know everyone has different schedules. So we usually do two circles on a Thursday during the day, and then I will be incorporating one during the weekend as well as one in the evening. Um, so if this is something you are interested in, be sure to head on over to my website at ericarusso.co. Tap, like I think it is, there is a link for the Modern Mystic Society on top. Go over there, sign up. Absolutely, you know, no commitment, you know, you can sign up, try it out, see if it works for you, see if it works, you know, for what you're trying to do with your life. And if not, no worries, you can cancel any time, but we are going to miss you. It is so much fun, guys. Again, the doors are closing at the end of July. So that means that you will not be able to sign up probably until next summer when the doors reopen. So be sure to definitely check that out if it's something that you are interested in. So this episode, I asked the amazing Victoria, the owner of Moonlight Witchdom, to come back on. We had such a great time the last time we connected, and she's a crystal junkie as well as me, and I was like, hey, why don't you come back on and we could talk about our favorite crystals for intuition and psychic abilities. And yeah, it's so, it's so funny because we didn't even talk prior to it. I was like, you just you bring me your five favorite crystals for intuition and I'm going to bring mine. And the funny thing is, is like, I don't want to like give too much away, but there was one where I was like, she's probably going to question this one. <laughs> the one that I chose because it's not, it's, it's not one. It's a crystal. Oh shit. I'm just going to tell you guys it's apothelite, right? <laughs> so apothelite is one of my favorite crystals and it's just such a powerful freaking crystal. And it's not really well known for intuition. There's a lot of stones that are really um, well known in the crystal community that are like the intuition stones. But for me, apothelite has always been such a powerful, powerful intuition connector. And um, the funny thing was she got that too. So it was like funny, but it's so, it, it was such a great conversation. She's a sweetheart. So be sure to check her out. All her info will be in the the show notes for you. Enjoy this episode. Enjoy the week. I love you guys and I will see you soon. You guys, I am so excited to have Victoria from Moonlight Witchdom back on. We, I had such a great combo with you last time. And since we last spoke, you kind of started your own podcast, Witch Talk After Dark. And tell me about it. So me and a few of my witchy friends, so, you know, we talk back and forth a lot. And one night we were talking and we had these conversations and back and forth and on Zoom and we're like, what if we recorded these and uploaded them? I think people would get a kick out of some of the conversations that we have. So we, you know, it's a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. um, so we all just decided we were going to get together and we're basically just going to record our conversations and it's going really well. Some of the episodes crack me up. Uh, the world now knows that I'm a potty mouth and that's okay. <laughs> Join the club. Yes. I know. I know. Um, awesome. Awesome. So that's just so exciting. I mean, I know, I, I know a couple of the people that are on the show. I love mystic rebel woman. She's amazing. Oh, yes. Um, but yeah, I think that that's just like a genius idea because sometimes you don't even realize you think you're just having a meaning, meaningless conversation with someone, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of value coming yeah. in, you know, yeah, and that's yeah. why, that's why I think it's so great. So guys, definitely be sure to check that out. Um, is, where is it available? So it's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, pretty much anywhere you get your podcast. I'm not sure if it's on Stitcher. I'd have to look, but the main places you get your podcast, you can find right. it. 
So I will have all of that in the show notes for you. Definitely be sure to check that out, especially, especially if you are diving into witchcraft, because these are, I like to call these ladies, the, 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 the queens of witch talk. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys have been doing it for a while, you know what you're talking about. So definitely be sure to check that out. But today I asked Victoria to come on because I get a lot of questions of like what crystals are good for intuition and psychic ability. And Victoria is a, a, a crystal lover of sorts, a crystal oh, guru. Yeah. I know. I look at your, sometimes I'm like looking at where you film your TikToks and I'm like, she's got, she's got stuff on the wall. She You're is everywhere. like, <laughs> there's every room in this house has crystals everywhere you look. People come into my house. They're like, is this um, like a museum of some sort? <laughs> is or this a cave? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Are you selling these? Do you sell them? Like, no. no, no, no Why would no, I no. ever do that? If yeah. it enters this house, it stays in this house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, oh, that's so funny. So what, we're going to go back and forth. We did not talk about the ones that we chose. Mm -hmm. I want to see what she says and she wants to see what I say. So why don't you tell me what your first pick was? All right. This one, if anyone who listens to me knows me, they already know what my first one's going to be. It's going to be amethyst. It's my favorite overall crystal, but still makes it my favorite for anything with intuition and psychic work. Because for me, it just helps me balance just, it just keeps me balanced and it just helps me tune into my higher self and tune out all the bull crap, you know, yes. all the stuff I don't need to be, you know, it just, it takes all that clutter and all yeah. the mumbling that goes on inside my very busy brain and just hushes everything up mm -hmm. and allows me to tap in. So Amethyst will always be my number one for everything. Yeah. That's my birthstone. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Amethyst. Um, the thing with amethyst is what I've realized too, is I'm more calm when I work with amethyst. Mm -hmm. you, and I think it's a very good crystal to use when deciphering psychic information from ego. I agree. You know what I mean? Cause it, it's very, it's, I can't, it's very hard to explain, but it's a very calming stone. Purple mm -hmm. is a very calming stone. So when we're doing this work, I think it lets you not be so attached to your ego being like, is this real? Is this, is this legit? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's still there, but it's like, no, this is, this is what I'm getting. And you're very calm when you're doing it. And it is, exactly. that's a really good stone. That yeah. actually is an honorable mention for me. Ooh. I went back and forth with it because it is an excellent stone. But for me, when I, when I'm working with amethyst, first off, I have it on my bed stand because it helps me sleep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I feel very protected. Yes. It's like a warm hug. You know hug. what I mean? Yes. It's, it's warm, like a nice, It's magical, like Barney, yeah. Barney's giving you a hug. Yes. It feels nice and fuzzy, but yeah, I feel the same way. It just turns everything off. Mm -hmm. And if you have anxiety or intrusive thoughts or, you know, OCD or any of like, you just have an overactive brain, ADHD, any of these things, like it can just shut everything up that you don't need to be listening to. Right. Help you focus on the things you do need to be listening to. And that's what Amethyst Absolutely. does for me. It just makes everything shut up, right. shut the hell up. <laughs> right. I think that's so, and it's so funny because we're, Amethyst is pretty abundant. Like there's mm -hmm. a lot of yep. real natural amethyst in the world. And I truly feel like God did that because we all need that to like, we all need that reminder and we all need that magical piece of crystal to get us exactly to go within, yep. to not it's listen amazing. to everything, to not, mm -hmm. you know, not go outside of ourselves to find what we want. Yes. You know? And I think yep. amethyst is a really beautiful reminder for that. You know, it's, it's nature's chill pill. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Love that. So my first is soda light. Oh, soda light has been, um, I've known mm -hmm. about soda light and everything like that, but I've been working with it more since November and I've realized with sodalite, it's more of not so much for psychic, but for intuition, mm -hmm. exactly. my own internal knowing, exactly. you know, and 
when I'm doing my psychic readings and stuff like that, I always have soda light because I realize that it's it's much more of the internal knowing that you get with soda light than the actual energetic psychic information. Exactly. But it is good. Exactly. <laughs> that was actually number three on my list was soda light. Okay. Um, and for me, the reasons why I like so light for intuition now, different crystals for different intuitive right. purposes, obviously it's, I don't feel like intuition is just like one generic thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but because it's so good for communication, not just between you and somebody else, but between you and yourself. So because it aids with communications and especially if you are trying to tap into some type of intuition involving you and another person, because Soda Light can open up those lines of communication and just makes that so much easier. It can open up those, those lines of communication between you and yourself, your intuition, and it just, it aligns things between, you know, that throat chakra mm -hmm. and that third eye chakra. And it just opens that pathway, which is great for intuition. Absolutely. I also like using soda light for me when I have a, you know, when I have a conflict within myself, if something's really bugging me and I have to coach myself through the problem, I've noticed that soda light is really good with that. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a big journaler, so like I will have my soda light handy, but when I'm trying to coach myself through why I feel a certain way, a negative emotion, I feel as if it really does help me access just that streamline of why it is I'm feeling that way. Exactly. And I find it calming as well. I find all it is, blue, yeah. I find all blue crystals calming. Um, it's just their nature. It's, it's gentle, not as gentle and chill as amethyst. It's on a different mm -hmm. level, but it just kind of, it just, it calms things down and just opens up pathways yeah. in a different way. I don't know about you, but I feel when, when I work with amethyst, when I think of amethyst, I feel more of a feminine kind of energy mm -hmm. goddess. And then with sodalite, it's definitely more masculine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little you more know? in your face. It's not as subtle. Yeah. Amethyst feel is very subtle. Sodalite is not as subtle. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm here and you need to do some work and right. we're going to do this work together. That's why yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I don't get that nurturing vibe from soda light, but no. I don't need, I'm not yeah. one of those people that need that much <laughs> nurturing. Yeah. So I don't always I, need the hug. <laughs> yeah. Some, some people need that nurturing me. I'm just like, no, you need to help me out. I'll do this. And that's good. It's so, a tough love crystal. It is a tough love crystal, but it's a good solid crystal. It is. It it is. is. Um, um, what's your second? My second one is apophyllite. Um, I feel like apophyllite isn't talked about very much. It's not. Um, it's also very confused with uh, clear quartz. Yes. They're very different. Chemically, they're different. Um, they look almost the identical. Same. Yes. Yeah. Uh, look up the differences. You may have one and think it's the other. Um, apophyllite vibrates at such a yeah. high frequency. It is such an energetic crystal. If you need something to calm your ass down, don't pick up apophyllite. Yeah. <laughs> that's an right. I was like, I hope she doesn't say that. No, that no. is so funny. I'm, I love that you said that because that was one of mine. That was Ooh. my third was apophyllite oh. because it is, it's not spoken about enough. It mm -hmm. is a powerful freaking crystal. Is. And like if you cool. have, yeah, if you have apophyllite yeah. and you have clear quartz, you can feel a noticeable difference. Mm -hmm. So apophyllite, because it's so high vibrational for me, when I work with it, it aligns everything from my root chakra to my crown chakra. It just lines everything mm -hmm. up. It moves through you and it just opens up everything. So it mm -hmm. is an intense crystal. So like I said, if you're already like your nerves are high and you just feel you need something gentle and calming. Don't pick up apophyllite until you're, you know, a little more balanced because apophyllite is going to send everything to a whole other level. It is a very strong, powerful crystal. And look at the differences between clear quartz and apophyllite. So, you know, you cause you may have picked up something, you may have picked up apophyllite and thought it was clear quartz. And you're like, everyone talks about how clear quartz is just so calming. And I don't get that. Well, maybe you were holding apophyllite and you just yeah. didn't know it. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. The first time I feel, the first time I ever worked with apophyllite, right? It, it said, someone said to put it on your third eye and meditate. And when I told you like, this was the most trippiest <laughs> astral travel <laughs> thing I have ever experienced in my life. And it's still just like, it is more expensive. It should be mm -hmm. more, real apothlite mm -hmm. is more expensive than quartz because it's a bit yeah. more rare, but yep. it is worth every single penny. Um, 
like I said, it's just such, it's such a powerful stone and it's not spoken about enough. It really mm-hmm. isn't like, cause I feel as though with Apothlite one, it clears you out. Like it's like oh, a yeah. nice, like mucinex of crystals. <laughs> you know what it's I mean? Like it just blowing your spiritual yeah. nose. Yes. <laughs> It's it's your spiritual neti pot. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. And it's not just that. I feel like much more connected to my guides as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just great for everything. Clarity. um, Apophyllite makes makes things come into the light. It makes things very clear. There's a clarity about it. Um, But it doesn't do it in a gentle way. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's pretty crazy. It is. It is high vibrational. uh, Yeah. One of my, I, I'm in my opinion, in my collection, one of the highest vibrating crystals that I own mm-hmm. is Apophyllite. It's yeah. intense. Even being near it, I would not recommend keeping it on your nightstand. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no yeah. Go places in your sleep. And if you want restful sleep, don't keep Apophyllite on your nightstand. Mm-hmm. Right. I actually had that problem. I had Apoth, I, I was holding Apophyllite and I was taking it out of my bra and I put it on my nightstand just while I was getting ready. And I had that in selenite. I didn't get to sleep that night. No, no. no. <laughs> Those two together? Holy no. cow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get, and I didn't even realize it, you know what I mean? Until it was like one o'clock and I'm just like buzzing and I'm like, oh, that's why. And as okay. soon as I took him out, I was fine. You got to get out of the room, sis. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I was just not even thinking. We don't realize those little things. And then I had a client once. I told her to get selenite because, you know, selenite is also an amazing stone. They're all mm-hmm. amazing. Oh, but yeah. she got sick. She bought it at a new age store and it's like her first time really diving into crystals. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's such a high vibration that it can really, it can really affect you, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and, and another stone that we were, since we're talking about getting sick, I bought myself a large piece of Lumerian quartz. Ooh. I couldn't be in the same room if, with it for a while. Lumerian quartz will make you realize things about yourself that you were not ready to <laughs> even accept. Right. If, if you want a crystal for shadow work, there's one because it opens yeah. up things in yourself and makes you see things and realize things. And yeah, another really high vibrational crystal where you're just like, I'm going to work with this because I'm not ready. I'm not ready to accept <laughs> these. Things. I'm sorry. <laughs> Back in the right. box. <laughs> but it's also a very healing crystal. It is. It is a healing. It's a very, but it's, it's more like, okay, we're going to rip you open. We're going to tell you the things <laughs> about yourself yeah. that you don't like. Yep. Right. And then we're going to give you the power to heal those things mm-hmm. all within an hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, hope you hope you're ready for a roller coaster ride. So hope you don't have plans yeah. later. Exactly. Don't do it on date night. <laughs> yeah, but no, it definitely I think and I wanna talk about that because it's just I mean, I, I have crystals everywhere. Like look mm-hmm. at this chunk of Celestine right here. Ooh. Like I have crystals everywhere, but when I got this new piece of Lumerian it's bigger. I was getting sick. Yeah. Like my stomach couldn't settle. And I realized that it was like my vibration had to like get accustomed to that vibration. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, and I feel too, when that happens, that's usually an indication that you have to work with that crystal. Yeah. Yep. Like, you know, and if you're somewhere shopping for crystals and you pick one up and you get that feeling, it's like this... It's an uncomfortable need is what I would say. Cause some crystals you pick up and you just feel gross and you're like, Nope, you're not the one for me. Some you pick up and it's like, I'm uncomfortable, but in a way I feel like I need to be in the presence of this mm-hmm. crystal. Yeah. And then you take it home and then you're like, ah! yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, you know, and, and like I said, sometimes you're just, you're going to know like, Oh, it's pretty, but it's not for me. But I feel like those crystals that you're drawn to, but you feel weird when you're holding on to them. Mm-hmm. That's usually an indication that your vibration needs that stone to raise it. Yep. Yep. Exactly. You know, I don't get there. But I love that you said apothelite because I was like, I feel like nobody uses that for psychic and intuition. Yeah. You don't hear about it a lot. And it's not yeah. crazy expensive. And you're going to spend more than, you know, clear quartz. It's not crazy expensive, like genuine citrine or anything like that. Right. But, um, but it's not hard to find. Like you can find it. Right. It's readily available. So yeah, you know, it's definitely looks- easy to find for sure. Yeah. yeah. So anyone, and like I said, if you look up the ways to tell the difference, you can find it more easily um, when you're just out looking. But yeah, anyone listening, yeah. just be prepared, but definitely work with it. Absolutely. I chose fluorite. 
that was the next one on my list. Oh, good. <laughs> we're, we're there. We're vibing. Yeah. Fluorite for me, um, it not only helps me work and stay focused, but mm -hmm. when I'm working with it at a psychic level, it helps me pick up because the way I teach psychic reading is you pick up a piece of energy from the person's aura mm -hmm. and it helps me stick with that stream of energy. Exactly. And I wrote that in big letters next to fluorite focus. Yes. Um, Cause it does. It just, and again, if you have issues focusing, you know, anxiety, just ADHD, or you just are a person, your attention span is just nil. Mm -hmm. uh, fluorite is good for focus. And of course, whenever you can focus on something, then your intuition can become higher and more in tune because now you're tuned in and you're focused. You're not, your mind isn't wandering. You're not, right. you know, having to deal with, again, all these intrusive thoughts when you can fully focus on something, but in a relaxed way, not like in like a abrasive yeah. way, in a relaxed way, then, then you can really just kind of tune into things and subtle things, which in turn helps with your intuition. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, I think fluorite is definitely for someone, I would say, if you're one person that is in your mind a lot. Yeah. Same here. Same here. I mean, we all are, <laughs> but if you want to do psychic work, intuition work, energetic work, I think fluorite would be your best friend because it really does allow you to just stick with one thing mm -hmm. and, exactly. and go with it, you know, but fluoride's good and it's good for psychic. I've yes. noticed too, when I, when I work with fluorite and guys, when I talk about working with fluorite, okay, sometimes that means I'm just, I just have it in my bra. <laughs> yes. You I'm know what I mean? <laughs> but the boobs. yeah, exactly. It's, on, it's, it's in there. It's somewhere yeah. around me. Um, I get better pieces of psychic information. Mm-hmm when I'm doing a reading with it, that's what I've noticed. Like, I feel like I, I go to places within that energy where it's like, I wouldn't have went there if I didn't have the fluorite. Exactly. Um, for me, when dealing with anything intuitively, um, you know, working with that third eye rainbow fluorite was, is my go-to because it just kind of, you know, you've got the different colors because fluorite comes in so many different oh, colors. Yeah. I've got it in every color under the rainbow pretty much. <laughs> and piece I feel does do good with your psychic abilities and your intuition. But for me, if I'm really just trying to focus on something and tune into my own intuition, rainbow fluorite it specifically is the fluorite that I go to for that. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. So what's your next crystal? All right. The last one on my list, because you know, we've apparently we're on the same wavelength. Yeah. The last <laughs> one on my list is one that um a lot of people don't expect for this, but this is how it works for me. And that's Kimbaba Jasper. I love Kimbaba Jasper. Um, again, it's, it's a, a calming, balancing energy, but it really does help clear the mind um, and just bring that balance. Similar to Amethyst, but it's just a different kind of feel um, for me. But it still, it brings that balance and it clears the mind. Um, particularly if your mind, in my opinion, if you've got things that you're worrying about. So again, anxiety or just fears in general can just bring that, that, that balanced level of calm, which can then help you tune in because it's just a calming intuition. Like I said, it, mm. intuition is such an umbrella term for so many different things or so many different types of intuitive uh, practices, but Kimbaba Jasper can help you in moments of even um, grief or, mm. you know, fear, it just can bring your, your mind down to a different level where you can see the situation with more clarity. And that is so helpful when dealing with your own intuition, in my opinion. I like that. I've actually just recently started getting gravitated towards Jasper. Yeah. Um, so that might be on my on my Etsy list. <laughs> it, it's, and it looks like it's got eyeballs all over it, which makes it, you know, Ooh. again, you know, working with the third eye. And it's just, I don't know, whenever I hold Kimbaba Jasper, I'm just like, ah, oh, it just, my mind goes to a place where I see like raging rapids in a river. And then when I hold the Kimbaba Jasper, like then I just see like a nice calm, still part of the river, which, you know, Kimbaba Jasper, it comes from water. Um, 
formed with, you know, like algae and things like that. So that makes sense. So there's like a lot of um, water energy associated with it, which I'm a water sign. So I'm all about that. Right. But it's just like, it just, I just, it's just still waters when I'm working with it. And I just, I like that imagery when I'm trying to just chill. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need to chill. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, absolutely. So I, my two, my last two was Labradorite. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I have to say like for intuition, I think my favorite is Moonstone. Oh yeah. I do love Moonstone. Moonstone, like I feel like people have a love hate relationship with Moonstone and I'm not really sure why. Yeah. <laughs> I like Moonstone and I like Labradorite. I think Labradorite's great. Um, I like it a lot for astral travel. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's great for all those things. And Moonstone, again, you know, there's so many different colors. So, and you know, then there's rainbow Moonstone, which is really just, it's labradorite it's just a different color right um but yeah yeah I love the energy of all of those right yeah for me labradorite was is good I've noticed that it brings up a lot of things when I work with it during readings that need healing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like like shadow work like the things yeah. that are there that are affecting your life in a negative way that's time to come up to the surface. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like it. I also like using Labradorite for my tarot readings. Ooh, yeah. Especially if it's more of like a spread where it's for healing or finding mm -hmm. what obstacles you're, you're going through and everything like that. I've, I've yeah. noticed that it comes in a lot clearer if I have a piece of Labradorite around. Mm -hmm. um, it really is freaking magical. But yeah, Moonstone, I feel like, I feel like you either love Moonstone or it's like you're indifferent to it. Yeah. You're just like, eh. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's, I, I never really gravitated towards it until like this past year. And I've just realized that it really helps me not only with my intuition, but I realize when I'm working with Moonstone with the lunar cycle as well, mm -hmm. that there's this one place during the cycle I, it's right after the new moon. My intuition is on fire. Yeah. And yeah. it really helps for me anyway. I've noticed that my, my flow, my feminine flow and everything like that. And just my intuition having that, it makes me more cognizant of how the, the lunar cycle affects me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I was so funny you mentioned that because for me, when I work with Moonstone, the best ways for me to work with, and this is just the, the most success I've had with it, is when I need to connect with that divine feminine energy or I need mm -hmm. to feel that feminine empowerment, Moonstone will always be my go-to. And that's yeah. a lot because it is connected with the moon, which is that feminine energy. So whenever I'm just like, you know, like I need to feel empowered or I need to connect with that divine feminine energy, then that's, I will go to Moonstone every time. And Labradorite, I love for shadow work, um, meditating with it when you are trying to do work and, and connect with that shadow self. And I like it for astral travel as well. Yeah. I never, I never tried it with astral travel, but I know that it's a good stone for astral travel. Um, so let's see. I, I want to ask the question. Is there any crystals that you would say don't work with if you're trying to really go in with the psychic and intuition stuff? Um, I feel like carnelian might cause a little bit of confusion. Now, carnelian is a great stone for creativity. Um, it sparks that creativity, but an imagination. So any stone that's going to spark imagination and creativity may not be the best for intuition because it makes right. your imagination run wild and then you get right. creative. So then you might be right. creating things in your own mind. Exactly. Uh, that is not helping you focus. Um, right. so I would say for me, that would probably be carnelian. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say any, basically anything associated with the lower chakras, because when mm -hmm. you're doing this work, you need to be in your top three yeah. chakras mm -hmm. and anything that's going to ground you is going to give you a little bit more of a problem. So yeah. I would say, you know, I, I love my black tourmaline. Oh, I yeah. really do. We love you, black tourmaline. Yeah, we love you. We mm -hmm. love you. We seriously like you're my bodyguard, but 
I think when doing this sort of work, just be cognizant of the grounding stones that you mm-hmm. have around. Because when you're doing this work, you you want to be grounded, but you don't want to be so grounded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, crystals that keep you in the physical realm, um, which are important. They are equally Absolutely. important. They have yeah. their place. Um, but if they're like, they, they're more of the physical crystals, like you said, that keep you grounded and rooted. Um, and then the lower chakras, not the best for intuition. You want, you know, the more spiritual and astral realm yeah. crystals that deal, like you said, you know, from your throat and up. Any of those higher level chakra based crystals are going to be the ones that you're going to want to work with. Like, you don't want to not be grounded, but you don't want to be like too too grounded grounded when you're doing, I always tell people like ground and center, ground and center, ground and center. But you know, if you're really trying to focus on your intuition, don't be too grounded. (laughs) Yeah. That's, and, but I, I always say like, after you do a spiritual reading or you're really tapping in and doing some sort of intuitive journaling or something like that, you do want to ground afterward. Oh yeah. Not during. (laughs) Yeah. You want to like reel that, that balloon that you've sent out on that string. You want to like bring it back in a little bit. You don't want to get too close to the sun. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I love, I love that you said carnelian because I was like, I think, I think I need to say definitely carnelian. That was my first one because for me, carnelian is really grounding for me. Mm -hmm. It's very grounding for me. It also helps with, um, me just not getting so upset over things. Yeah. You know, just being overly emotional, overly attached to situations Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It just kind of calms me down and makes me remember like, okay, this is not, that's your ego. Yeah. Chill out. You know when I'm working. Yeah. When I'm working, Carnelian is always by my side because again, creativity and it does help me focus in a different way than, you know, fluorite helps me focus. It helps me focus again on the physical things I'm here and I'm working and I'm writing and I'm doing all this stuff. I need to be here present in the moment in the physical sense. So Mm -hmm. Carnelian is my go-to for that. So I always, you know, I've got, you know, it's here with me right now, you know, like it's like if I'm working um, and things like that, it's always there, but I wouldn't use it for, I I don't meditate with it. I don't, you know, I don't use it for intuitive work or anything like that. That's not my go-to. So I have probably the hardest question for you right now. Oh gosh. Let me hold my carnelian. Yeah. Hold your carnelian. (laughs) So if you can only have three crystals, what are your three crystals? Oh gosh. <laughs> if you guys saw what I'm watching right now. <laughs> I'm sweating everywhere. <laughs> I mean, amethyst, that's easy. Amethyst. Um, I have to say clear quartz because it's the most versatile. That's in my honorable mentions. But there has to be a third. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably black tourmaline because it is so grounding so I, I've got something that kind of encompasses everything clear quartz which can be used for anything essentially mm-hmm. very versatile um, amethyst which is my overall just it's, it's my buddy um, yeah. and then yeah black tourmaline because I still will need something to ground me from time to time so yeah those, those would be my three that was hard that was hard I'm gonna well, I usually them. say like, what are three pieces of advice? I'm like, no, nah, let's say what are her three favorite crystals? Those are good. Those are solid crystals. Easy I to get. get yeah. Inexpensive, you know? Yeah. I think amethyst would definitely be one of mine for yeah. sure, but I would definitely need a lot of time to sit on the other <laughs> two and really meditate <laughs> on that because that's hard. Me laying awake tonight with just staring at the ceiling going, why didn't I say right. that? <laughs> why didn't, I say why that? didn't you say rose quartz? Why didn't you say tiger's eye? You stupid person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be going up. I'll be rethinking that in my head for I days. <laughs> I like rose quartz too. I like I rose love, quartz because I, love I think rose we all quartz. need it. I think we yes. all need it. We need to remember how beautiful and amazing we all are and yes. that we deserve love. It's so hard. It's so hard because now I'm thinking of like, oh my God, I really like lapis lazuli too. I know. I know. It's like the whole time I was like looking at my soda lot, I was like, yeah, I love this, but I also really love lapis lazuli. (laughs) Me going, why could I only pick five? I mean, I have some honorable mentions. You know, I had clear quartz, rutilated quartz, um, and citrine in there. Um, 
Now, when I say citrine, I mean like genuine citrine. Genuine citrine. Heat amethyst. Yes. And I know like people get upset about that. I know. I'm not saying you hit. can't work with heated amethyst, yeah. but when I work with common or, you know, enhanced citrine, which is heated amethyst, mm -hmm. I get the same vibe I get from amethyst. It's just a little sunnier, you know? Right. And I hold genuine citrine. I get a completely different Difference. vibe. It's a different crystal. I feel more royal. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it does. It just, it, yeah. I feel heightened in a way that, you know, cause amethyst still just kind of brings me to a center balanced mm -hmm. area where citrine takes me higher, if that yeah. makes sense. Like it, kind of like a pop of light, but gently. <laughs> Yeah. Gradually. It's like know, a gently citrine. like floating up. Yeah. Um, and I don't get that with the heated amethyst. I get the same vibe yeah. I get from amethyst. It's just, you know, like I said, it's just a little sunnier, a little right. brighter. Yeah. You know? And we, and I like that you, cause I've said it to you on a couple of podcasts. It's citrine. If it's affordable, it's not citrine. No. It's heated amethyst. Doesn't mean that it's not wonderful, but it's not That's citrine. Great. Citrine is expensive. If I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for my citrine because on the off chance that my husband's listening, I can't <laughs> say it. Um, but it is so different when you really start becoming sensitive to the energies of the crystals. And it's not hard. It's not hard at all. You just have no. to trust what you're getting when you are with the crystal, when you are meditating with it. Citrine is definitely different. I feel, I feel like just royal. Like I just feel like, like, gosh, like a, a queen just holding yeah. on, sitting on my throne. Like that's what I get. Yeah. And so I definitely, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Like that's so too. And manifestation, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? So if you want, I do, I do like such a train. Yeah. Now you're making me like second guess everything. <laughs> Or whenever we talk about it, um, yeah. you know, like some people, they accept it. And then some people get um, upset when I talk about citrine. And I've done a lot of videos on how to tell the difference and right. cost and all that. And I'm like, you can still work with heated amethyst. It's still a real crystal. Molecularly, it hasn't changed. It's still a genuine crystal. And if you get the same vibe from that that I get from genuine citrine, go for it. Right. You know, your crystals have like a general use and then they're going to vibe with your vibrations differently than they do mine, differently exactly. than they do yours. So you may pick up carnelian and go, but this works for me for intuition. Fine. You're not right. wrong. That's how it works for you in that way. It's right. just not how it works for me in that way. And that's the beautiful thing about crystals. You know, it's like right. people like, wear perfume. It smells one way in a bottle. It smells really good on your friend. And then exactly. you wear it and it smells like cat pee. You yeah, know? absolutely. <laughs> um, crystals are like that. Like what right. I get from a certain crystal, some person may be like, oh my gosh, I hate that crystal. I just hate it. It makes me feel gross. And that's totally fine. Like different right. people, everyone vibrates differently. And so do crystals. Right. So you're not going right. to every crystal. Absolutely. But I also like how we kind of agreed on some of the same crystals. So you can understand that like we are two different people living in two different states mm -hmm. with two different relationships with our crystals. And we mm -hmm. still picked some of the same yeah. crystals for psychic and intuition development. Yeah. And so that says something. Yeah, exactly. And we did not you know? talk beforehand. Right. We knew we were each going to be picking crystals, but we did not get together and talk about the crystals we picked. Right. Beforehand. There was no conversation about our picks. <laughs> right. Exactly. And that's the, that's why I wanted to do it this way because it's like, it's all energy guys. It mm -hmm. really is all energy. And if we're picking up the same sort of things, yes. obviously that's a good crystal for that specific reason. Exactly. But again, like you said, for me, like someone said, they can't have amethyst on their bedstand. Another psychic reader told me they're like, Oh my God, you have, I cannot, it, it keeps me up. Like it, it yeah. energizes me to each his own, man. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> it, it, just, it is what it is. It's like, I feel like the majority of people like apple pie, but not everybody likes apple pie. Some people right. find it disgusting. <laughs> right. Exactly. The general consensus is that apple pie is delicious, but there are people that say, no, it's disgusting. I hate it. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> with, with Crystal, just because I'm like, this is because I'm over here going, oh my gosh, can Baba Jasper is so great. Oh my gosh. You, know, you may be like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've never worked with Jasper. Honestly, a like, lot of people don't. Um, yeah. you know, the thing about crystals is they have an energy, but they're also really pretty. So a lot of people right. will be drawn to the stones right. that they find are sparkly and just beautiful. And then ja a lot of people find Jasper just kind of black, kind of bland. Yeah, um, they're not they, very you know, pretty. You know, I yeah. like them. 
you know, just like there's a, there's a time and a place. And, you know, I just, I like them all. I got the question the other day, like, what's your least favorite crystal? And I was like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand the question. Is this multiple choice? <laughs> Like, what is this? What is this? Is this a trick <laughs> question? Like, Why are you trying to entrap me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this energy. What is yeah. this? I don't have a least favorite. I have like my most favorite, but I don't have right. a least favorite. I like them all. I yeah. do. I just, I like them all. They all have a, an energy and I like it. And you walk into my house and if you're not ready for the energy, <laughs> cause it's just right. a bunch mixed together because of all yeah. the crystals. Exactly. Yeah. If there's ever an earthquake in Georgia, I'm in trouble. <laughs> everything's everything's falling down oh my god but you're gonna be spiritually protected it's true true (laughs) people will be like oh my gosh look at her digging through all of that rubble she must be trying to find all her pictures and her wedding photos i'm like i'm looking for all of my crystals okay (laughs) (laughs) yeah what what photos are you talking about photos he's over there trying to help me find crystals you see he's over there you know yeah the best, the best was when I have selenite basically on every door frame, right? Because mm-hmm. it transmutes negative energy into positive. Exactly. It's a wonderful stone. And it's on my front door and someone came in um, to drop off my kids like kindergarten stuff mm-hmm. and it fell. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and I live in a Catholic town, guys. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and I'm like, oh, those silly kids putting those stones up there silly guys no way, kids putting yeah. rocks over the door yeah. and then my, my mind would be like that crystal does not want you here you need to right. get it. yeah <laughs> right but it was when it falls like, and hits them on the head and you're like oops yeah. i know you know? and then you know my kids are coming out as soon as they hear it like go kerplat and they're like we didn't shut up shut up yes you did put it up there oh you know kids they lie they're forgetful (laughs) right (laughs) exactly exactly but yeah that's that's exactly what i would say so oh my god thank you so much there that was a lot of crystals yeah that was a lot of crystals i could go for days (laughs) your bank account is gonna hate us guys i mean seriously we're very sorry about that but we are sorry not not sorry sorry. yeah exactly sorry not not sorry sorry. enjoy these crystals they really are really great Again, mm-hmm. I think that everyone should at least experience apothelite, yes. in my opinion, mm-hmm. without a doubt. Even if you don't want to do it for psychic and intuition, it doesn't matter. It is just wild. Yeah. It is yeah. wild. Yeah. But Victoria, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you thank so much you for your for insight. Guys, be sure to check thank her you. out on TikTok. She's one of my favorites. And also you have a Patreon, right? I do. I have a Patreon where I do Book of Shadows and Grimoire pages. We talk about crystals and all kinds of things and spells and all kinds of spiritual stuff. Awesome. Awesome. So guys, be sure to check her out. All her information is in the show notes and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.